Hi, welcome to the Spurlix Market Preview. Today we're talking about Dixon's car phone. Uh, you can say Dixon's has been one of the sort of the market's retail casualties this year. I think uh, it was actually going quite well for a while. I think by the end of May it was at a nine month peak but in the context of a fairly poor 2017. However, at the end of May, it then released a sort of a shock profit warning. It plunged 20% in a single session. It said that while uh, pretext profit for 2017-2018 uh, were coming at, as expected at £382 million, pounds, which is still a, a huge decline from the £500 million seen in 2016-2017, uh, but at least was to be expected. Uh, in 2018-2019, there'd be no sign of recovery at all, and pretext profit would continue to fall to £300 million. Pounds. Obviously, investors were sort of destroyed at that, like I said, sending the stock 20 down 20% uh, lower, I think leaving it uh, in late August at an eight month low. However, its figures, I think it then released its full year figures uh, the next month in June. And sales wise, things were okay. I think light for light sales at the company were up 4%, the most of that growth coming in Greece and the Nordic sector, or Nordic division, sorry. Uh, and then overall re revenue was up 3% to 10.5 billion pounds, which is, you know, is a very healthy number for a company that, uh, you know, is in so much trouble market wise at the moment. Uh, in terms of its first quarter figures on Thursday, I think investors are going to want to just con, if anything, continue to see the, that kind of light for light growth has continued in the first quarter, ideally with an improvement in the UK and Ireland, which, uh, is the weakest sector despite being the biggest sector for Dixon's car phone at the moment. Obviously, uh, any update on the full year uh, guidance as well will be welcome, especially if there's any improvement to the forecast of that £300 million uh, pretext profit figure that proved to be so disastrous back in May. In terms of what our clients are doing, there are still a fair amount of sellers around Dixon's car phone, which is sort of to be expected given the news it unveiled back in May and the fact it's in the retail sector. However, we have seen buyers creep in around the £170 mark. I think even just looking for a short-term boost, if those first quarter figures are fairly decent and it managed to, manages to maintain the life like sales growth seen across the full year back in June.